breathe. Uh-oh. I need a little room to breathe. Come on, sucker. Focus. P.A. said the caca. So that's what we did. Today's goal. So, it's kind of the... Uh, uh, theme that's come up with the last couple is patience, right? So with uh, with Harley, it's patience because she's super scared of everything, right? And uh, so you just have to be patient. And and I'm so used to like things going right things going and going so it's hard to see little little winds and here we got hey Rudy Rudy's a wild man coming up the crate he's wild trying to get to get his harness on so I need to try to see with him kind of standing still slowing down because <laughs> he gets squiggly you try to put his harness on he gets all squiggly now I don't know if that's just because it's me and he's not used to it or if he's doing that with his mom so I need to try to, <clears throat> I want to look and see about how long it takes to just let him settle down and then do it. So there's a new guy I've been watching and he does a lot of, unfortunately he does a lot of the dog trainer war stuff, but he has a lot of good points. And uh, I saw a couple of his recent ones where he's real good about just waiting right I, th I feel like he talks a lot i don't know if he's doing it for the videos um but that's what i do too so it kind of kind of validates that maybe um do, 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 do. what was i gonna say validates that it's not that bad it thinks and that's what i'll say is it's when you're that's what i usually say when i'm trying to do stuff like that is it's not that you talk like if you talk too much that's not good but it's also the way with which you talk in the way in which you talk, right? Just talk, talking calm and neutral, putting out a good energy. They can follow that energy and that tone. Um, whereas now sometimes you need that happier tone. It just depends on your situation. Um, but if they're overexcited and you're trying to bring them down and you're, oh yeah, that's a good boy, right? because they stop for a second then that's right so say he's jumping around and you got the harness and you're about to put it on him and he starts jumping around high and, he, and then he stops and you go yeah that's a good boy and you give him a treat well in that moment now i've seen it work pretty good uh where the food starts slowing him down and a lot of people do a scatter feed thing where they throw a lot of food on the ground um i've been on the <clears throat> here lately <clears throat> Uh, I've been on the trying to be a little more natural in certain things, right? So instead of using f uh, scatter feeding to manipulate the dog to do stuff, because that's what it is, you're manipulating them, just waiting, right? That's The old system would be to wait. And then once they slow down, then offer the food, right? But when they slow down and they stop, then you would just be like, good boy right nice and neutral even so i gotta see hi buddy yeah rudy's a good looking fella ain't you rude he's just a little bit of a wild man right you get these big powerful guys with the smaller ladies the more they can the more they can think and calm down on their own, the more tiring that is, right? So then, now we don't have to walk and play. I mean, you still have to walk and play, too, but the intensity or amount, because now you're draining their brain as well. So the idea today is to get four dogs worked. It's been a while since I've done that. So anyways, I wanna try that, getting him out of the crate. Once he comes out, just waiting and waiting and waiting until he settles down. Instead of, which is something I used to do. Then what threw me off of that is I ended up having four dogs and then five dogs. 
plus the client dogs, right? So it makes it harder. So it turned into, I just kind of muscle through that where like, they'll be kind of crazy and I'll wait a second, but not as long as I should. So then I end up grabbing the collar or something to make them settle down, right? The problem with that is there, it's kind of what they call forced, forced compliance, right? Hey, settle down. Now with dogs that are super, super excited, I like it because, hey, right now this is what you need to do. So the way I started combating that was kind of letting them, they have to calm down in the crate, but then they're gonna fly right out anyways because their mind's not fully settled back. So then when they, when they come out, I just get the leash on right away, right? So now they, now they can't run and jump and fly all over the place as much as they want to. <clears throat> Whereas if I get them out of the crate, they're behind the X-Pen, let them kind of flop around and do their little goofy thing and then just kind of ignore them and settle down and then put their leash on. That's the ideal way. All right, so you got one or two dogs at home, you can do that. It's hard to do that with so many dogs here and not enough hands. Because I had this thing about being someone on schedule. And that's another thing is uh, this little Instagram girl that I like a lot. Uh, she said she doesn't do a schedule and I'm pretty, I'm pretty schedule based, right? It'll adjust a little bit. So it's not like always at seven, always at, right? But it's kind of, I do create a little pattern, right? And I think for some dogs that pattern is super good, right? So Harley, she never wanted to come out, right? So I had to kind of make her come out of the crate at first. Um, but she got used to, and, and her crate was, has never been closed ever since she's been here because we want her to come out. Right? If her crate's closed, she can't come out. I shouldn't say never, but very rarely, okay? Um, uh, was it, oh, so the schedule, I think, for her was really good because Charlie would go out first, then I'd come back, and eventually she had that... Uh, well, he's gonna get me, so I'm gonna go ahead and come out. So she started coming out on her own. Now I had to let her kind of walk around and get settled down. Her, I did let do the walk around and settle down because she's fearful of the whole thing, right? So I want her to, I really want her to, like the overexcitement, I can deal with. Overexcitement, I'm 100% cool with forced compliance. When it's like fear, uh, fear people, fear people dogs with fear i don't i don't want to force more than i have to we always have to force some things unless we have the perfect ideal situation like if she was at home with no but no other dogs or just one other dog right um but anyways so the theme of the day i'm trying to get into my head is patience Wait it out, wait it out. All right? So when he comes out, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna see about when we come out here, taking it off and putting it back on. That might be totally different because it's out here, right? It's not actually around the crate. Yeah, I got out, I get to be with my people. I'm excited, woo -hoo -hoo. So we'll see. And he's only here for another day, but it's so I can find out what she's doing to help her out better, right? Let's see. Did I talk enough about that one guy pausing? Oh, that's, an, that's another thing that he says that I like a lot is everybody is such salesmen, right? Everybody's like, not everybody, but a lot of training is about everybody has their products was that part of it I, this is what that guy said that part of it i don't care it's, it's capitalism right if you if you get leashes made that has your your training company's name on it that's what you want to do so when people are walking their dog people say oh man okay i, I, I googled them and maybe i you know that's just capitalism so what <clears throat> the part i don't like is a lot of the stuff some of us do um, and more so other people than me. I try to give everybody as much information 
in one shot as I can. And then, uh, you know, if there's more after that, cool. So it just depends. But that's what I said. Everybody's salesman, and, and nobody's really trying to give people enough information <clears throat> uh, because they want the next session and the next session and the next session, right? And that's what I feel. A lot of the stuff, answers that we have, I feel like a lot of them are kind of cop-out answers, but it's, some of it's just true. Some of it is, this is going to take a long time, right? When you, when you get into all the, like, all the obedience tricks and stuff like that, man, you can teach these, those people how to do all seven common commands in one thing. Now, can, can they take in that information and work on it? You know, that's up to them, right? But honestly, I went to, I went to one a couple weeks ago, and uh, that's what I told the guy. I said, I'm going to try to give you all the information that you need in one session, and if you need, I'll come back, right? And uh, he was like, oh, no, I would definitely want to do the five because I'm going to need the help. I was like, all right. But we did, we went over like four things, four or five things where, where we're only supposed to go over two or three, right? We did... We did a lot of walking, then we did sit down, stay, right? Sit down, stay, and come. That's almost that's almost all the common commands. It's the important ones too. We didn't really do a leave it. We talked about a lot of other stuff. Now, whether whether they absorb that much information, that's another part of it. I think a lot of people can though. All right, food, let's go. Come on. Come on, boy. That's enough of that spot. Uh, right? So I think there are a lot of people, and again, that's kind of capitalism, right? Well, if I can get, if I can get five sessions, then that's more money in my pocket. And I'm not about numbers, but I'd rather go on to the next one, right? So I'd rather save you that money, because I'm a cheapo. So I would rather. If I can give you one session, perfect. And then you can send me messages. Hey, this happened. And then I can I'll answer messages and all that stuff all the time. So, anyways, that was a weird tangent, right? Oh, I hit 12 minutes. So, anyways, today, patience, 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 right? And the best way to do stuff like that when they're overexcited, unless they're just not coming down, is to let them kind of flip up, flip around, blah 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 blah, and just ignore them. The worst thing to do is be like, hey, settle down, calm down, will you stop it? That's the worst thing to do. Just try to be super cool. Let the energy come down. Because what happens is you're just adding energy. You're trying to slow it down, but you're adding energy to it. And then some of them, they just have learned to be so wild that they need, they need the actual physical restraint, Right? grab the collar or get the leash on right away in order for them to learn that they're supposed to settle down. This depends on their situation. But ideally, the patience and waiting is good. Leave him alone. <laughs> I know he yells at you every time. Anyways, we're out of here.